Hi Scorpio and welcome to your week ahead reading for the 10th of January 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Renee, this is New Angel Tarot. If you are new to my channel or have never seen this video before, you can check out my website as well, newangeltarot.com. If you'd like a personal reading, do some courses with me or just want to find out more about tarot. Um, I'm a professional member of the Tarot Guild of Australia. There is also some recommended reading on the website. Um, if you're interested in books and um, getting to know stuff as well. So, without further ado, Scorpio, let's get started on your weekly reading. This is going to be a super short video, and I hope you find it helpful. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides, what does Scorpio need to know for the week ahead? Thank you, sir. Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know for the week ahead? 10th of January. Wow. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. And seven of cups. Bottom of the deck, you have the temperance card. And to clarify that temperance card, you have the star. This is beautiful. Okay, Scorpio. Let's have a look at what the messages are. All right. So Scorpio, you've got the Knight of Pentacles here, which indicates um, you've been working on something for a while now and it's really moving quite slowly. Um, you know, the rewards are coming towards you, but they're not rushing in a great hurry. You know, they, they are sort of moving, moving at a very slow pace. But, you know, don't be discouraged by that because it actually means that it's sl slow and steady is good. Slow and steady means it's secure. You know, um, I know money coming in fast is, is nice, but... Um, I feel very strongly that there's a level of patience that's required from you this week. We are in Capricorn season. Um, this card is the card of Taurus, but at the end of the day, you also need to think about the way that you're doing your business. Think about um, how you can maybe expedite things a bit quicker, okay? Because Knights as well can indicate intelligence and the way of thinking when it comes to business. The centre of your reading, you've got the Seven of Wands. This is about uh, you standing in your truth and actually defending something, you know, you're actually sticking up for yourself and sort of maybe even pushing back on something and sort of saying, no, I don't think that works for me or listen, this is how it's always been and we're not changing it because, you know, I've worked really hard to establish all of these wands here, this victory here, because the card before this is the six of wands, which is victory, um, and you're now taking that seventh wand and really standing in front of that victory and saying, back off, this is actually my turf. It's very much the energy I'm getting. The outcome for the reading is the Seven of Cups, which is all about abundance and choice. There is a caveat with this card. You will be presented with many different opportunities this week. They could be glittering, they could be sparkly, but just remember, all that glitters is not necessarily golden. So be careful about what you choose. Take a step back, read the fine print, and really check yourself, okay, before you accept any offers or look at something and say, yeah, I'm going to go for that. That looks amazing. There is a caveat with this card. So if you are feeling a little bit confused about which option to go with, um, just take your time. Don't rush it. You know, you've got this knight backing you here. So he's there to sort of say, look, just take it easy. The overarching energy for the reading is the temperance card. So this is the energy of Sagittarius. And it's also very uh, much basically saying, you know, you need to have patience again and moderation in a situation. You know, find that balance. When you're correct, turning lead into gold, it's important that you have the temperature just right. It's important that you don't, you know, when you temper chocolate, that you don't turn the heat up too much, otherwise it'll just turn to mud. At the same time, you want to have enough heat to create that silky smooth consistency, which is what you're really wanting out of a situation. You want things to run smoothly. You want things to be delectable. You want things to be have that, you know, beautiful, um, silky, you know, sort of sexy glow to it. Um, so, yeah, just take your time with things. Don't rush them. It's clarified by the star card, which is the card of um, Aquarius, and this is all about hopes and dreams, okay? Spirit is basically saying, keep your eye on the prize. Don't take your eye off the star. Follow the star, and the dreams that you're hoping and wishing and wanting to come true will. You know, if you, if you get distracted, um, you're not going to get what you want. And it's all about finding, that, again, that balance. This card has two um, a, a woman holding two jugs of water and the other card does as well so when you're talking about creating alchemy this is definitely your key to the week your key to the week is finding that beautiful emotional and um, you know that balance that moderation that you require you know 
don't eat too much, don't drink too much, don't exercise too much, don't do anything too much, just find that balance between the two and you're really, really going to get what you want, which is that sort of pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, this beautiful star. Scorpio, I hope you really found this helpful and interesting and gives you some inspiration for the week ahead. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you'd like a personal reading, as I said, check out newangeltarot.com. All the information will be listed below. So until next week, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon, Scorpio. Bye for now.